Good morning. So welcome back. Um, as promised, all of the cards are completely dried, they're cut, and they are sewn together. Well, they're not sewn together. That would defeat the whole purpose of everything, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm going to go through these and show you, show you guys what we did. And so, um, for any of the, uh, try again. So for anyone who is just now coming in on this, um, I am working on my Tsunami Rose design team project, uh, which is a journal. And, um, that's what we've been doing for the last few days. So some of these, I actually cut long ways and then put the pocket here because I wanted to put them like a side pocket like this, you know, well, it would be more like this. So um, that was my idea for those guys. And then I've got two left and two right. So these are the pockets. Got this one here. This one. My phone dinged. This one and this one. These are the two left and these are the two right. Oh my gosh, stop dinging. Um, these are the cards that I decided, there's more, but these were the cards. And I really like this one for the cards because you've got the writing space on the front as well as the back. Same with this one. You've got the writing space on the front as well as the back. And that's what I meant by they were all sewn. <laughs> Not they were all sewn together. Uh, pocket. Pocket 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 and we may not use all of them but at least we have a good variety to pick from and then here's a couple more cards um, we've got this one here that can obviously go whichever way but I really really like this paper so I wanted to try to get some cards out of this as well as pockets um, that was the whole reason that we covered it and then there's this one here this one and this one. So those are the cards. And then we've got a couple belly bands as well. So this one came from the scrap of paper. If you remember that, that was the piece that was left. Um, after I uh, let these dry, I measured the pages to see how, how long they needed to be. And I just used one of these because I forgot about it. And then I saw it sitting there after I put my cutter away and I just lined it up and cut it. So that's one of the belly bands. And then this is one of the belly bands. And again, we have them, but we don't necessarily have to use them. Um, these will definitely go with many, many, many projects. And then this was just kind of an extra piece. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with it. It could just be a journaling card. Um, or just an uh, added embellishment onto one of the pages. I'm not sure yet, but it was really pretty and that was the only piece that was left. Um, and I didn't think about making it into a tag, to be honest with you. None of these are tags, so we might have to do this again to make tags. Um, but I think we are off to a really good start. So I want to try to put these side pockets in first. So let's uh, roll our sleeves up and get started. Oh, I found something to go on the front too, or at least part of something. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I love that heart. And this is one of the padded hearts um, uh, from I want to say it's Padded Heart Company, but it's, she's on Etsy. And I'm fairly certain I've done a Etsy share for her. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to use some of her hearts so I can buy some more so we can do an Etsy share. So we have the pocket here, if you remember, the lace pocket. And then we also have it, where are you at? So we can actually add one of our cards to this just so we don't forget that it's there. 
there was one of these cards that I was like, oh, it needs to go. This, what did I do with it? Oh, it's in my hand. Oh, and it's too big. <laughs> it would be. It might fit here, though. Yes, it does. Check it out. And just so we know there's pockets there, they, this stuff doesn't have to necessarily stay here. Because um, honestly, the, the cards and such, they will get dispersed throughout. This will eventually be a pocket as well. There's another one and the other one is over here and that's that's the cards you guys because I didn't make a lot of cards. Okay so let's do the side pockets. Actually how big are you? Oh wait there's these guys too. I forgot about those. I forgot those two. Um, well, that kind of defeats the purpose now, doesn't it? Because we wanted to keep it. Maybe we should keep it just as a flap so you can unfold it. That would be cool. And then you could still write on this side. And the crease is still um, reinforced, so even better. Oh, I might just leave that as a flap. Okay. All right. So let's see. Where's my other two? Now everything's just all jumbled up together. What did I do? Okay. Those are my left. These are my right. Okay. I like the, how the flower matches the leaves. So I think we're going to do that. Like that. And see, this is where I feel like a stencil would come in handy. And I didn't dig to see if I could find any stencils. Well, um, hmm. We might just have to set this here. Like, okay, it's going to go right here. Because I like this a lot, but I feel like it needs maybe the simplicity though maybe the simplicity of it would actually make it more elegant you think I think and I mean the coffee dyed paper is has designs on it you I don't think you can see it in the camera but this particular paper has got um, doily imprints on it Ah, uh, you can't see it. Maybe I can pick it up whenever I take the pictures. Oh, do I want to use fabric tack? Yeah, I think I want to use fabric tack on the pockets. Hey. All right, we're going to pull this out. Set it aside over there. Oh, off click. to off oh, I didn't turn my thing sideways I had to off click my OBS I forgot and I almost touched my keyboard which is what reminded me Oink. Okay. hold that I was like, what is happening? I think the glue was coming through the holes on the bottom. It just seeped out the bottom. But over here, I was like, what is happening? But 
I punched holes in the paper when I was sewing, so I think the glue is coming through there. Oh, it seeped through the top, too. That's okay, though. All right. So there's that one. Now let's do one on the other side. Maybe directly on the other side. What do you think about that? I like that one better. Okay, well, we're going to pull you right back out, paper. Can't get more even than that, huh? And I'm just putting the glue straight across the, the stitches. So anyway, how are you guys doing today? What you working on? How you been? Oi. Oh, uh, nothing in this journal is inked, by the way. Um, I have not inked the edges of the cards or the pages or anything. So it is all just as is. I did use copy dyed paper and the digitals are vintage style. The fill in pieces that I use like this are vintage style, um, but I have not done additional inking. I like that. You see that? Oof. Oof, 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 oof. I like it. It's just pretty. Okay. Um, maybe we can add it to this one. What do you think? I like that. Oh yes, that actually works out pretty perfect. Okay. Oh, except for the fact that this one has lace on it, but that's okay. We'll just scoot our pocket up just a little bit so you can still see our lace. Hmm. Or put it on that side. I like it better here. Or what I could do is all better. <laughs> See, that's the great thing about decorating. Well, I don't know if I'm fully going to decorate, but that's one of the great things about decorating before you sew the pages in, because you can go and do something like that. So there's that side, and then there's that side. So let's grab this guy, fold that, and now our lace is still on the paper, but it is on the wrong side. There we go. Yeah. Oh no it wasn't. I just had my thing upside down. All right, so the lace goes on the right side, but we put it on the back instead of the front. That way we don't have to worry about the pocket. All right, this one's gonna be interesting here. So let's do this. And then this. Because of that hole right there, I put the glue on the paper instead of the pocket.
then put this one here. Let us go. I don't think I made my pocket straight. I can fix it. Not that I put out red glue. I forgot about the hole. Oh, I didn't hit it. That's good. Alright, so I'm actually going to let this dry, I think. Oh, no, it'll be alright. Because I think when I cut this, it might cut the holes where the stitches are. But I did just glue it, so Ooh. it'll be alright. Perfect. Great. And this goes here, like that, and then like that. Okay. And let's see how chunky are we. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I do need to come up with a closure, I think. Um, we could do a tie, like just a wraparound tie. I don't know what I want to do for the closure. I guess we'll figure that out. I kind of don't want to lose this drawing space. So I think I might just leave that there. Bingo! This is Nemo. Oh, I think that's too much. How about this one. Oh, I think that looks really good. Okay. Forget to take the page out. So the reason I take the page out because every time I glue these pockets, uh, glue kind of seeps out and I don't want it on the other pages of the journal. So I take the, so I take the pages out and do them individually. And then, of course, as soon as I tell you why I do it like that, it doesn't seep out. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. All right. Then let's see what the back side of this looks like. Oh, you're busy too, aren't you? That's not so bad. It's kind of paled down a little bit. I think is what we need here. Or we can put it on a different page altogether. I like that. All right, so let's do that. Grab my other page here. Throwing my glue stick everywhere. Don't mind me. And again, I'm just going straight over the stitches. 
Um, I think I backstitched on one or two of the pockets before I realized that they're pockets and they're being glued down anyway, and so you don't have to backstitch. So, I think one or two of them got, like this one got backstitched, this one got backstitched, that one got backstitched. Yeah, that's it. Those three. <laughs> so, not bad, half of them. Okay. All right, and then, now, if you noticed, I'm actually putting the pocket kind of in the corner here. That way, when the journal gets folded or sewn in, it doesn't affect this pocket at all. So you don't have to necessarily leave a gap, but I wouldn't push it all the way up to the crease. That's just me, though. Oh my goodness, I love this page. I kind of want to put a pocket there. <laughs> How bad is that? I really want to put a pocket there. And, oh, look at that. You can see it on this side. Oh, we should do it. You only live once, right? Ah, I'm doing it. I do have to use this glue, though. Because fabric tag does not stick to plastic. And if it does, not for very long. Although, it's technically not sticking to plastic, it's sticking to the lace, except on the bottom. But I already have this out, so I'm just going to keep this out. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop. Don't ask me what that noise was, no idea. It was, uh, it was, you know, one of those, those things, those thing things. That's funny because I say the terminology thing thing a lot. And my youngest daughter has started picking that up. She, now she calls everything thing thing. And Wayne's just like, thanks mom. It's like, what? I didn't do it. He's like, really? You don't call everything thing thing? I'm like, not everything. Just some things. Okay. Now this one I'm going to have to hold for a minute. I could just throw my book on it. Come here, book. There we go. But now that's in the way. Okay. Okay, those are just because something else needs to go in this pocket, not just cards. So I think I'm just going to reorganize here for a second because I need this book to say stay on this pocket. And I need the book not to be right where it's at. So I'm going to move it all over. Okay. And some lace. Or, well, trim. It's not lace. It's trim. Okay. Oh, we might, might actually need more glue than that. Okay, so the bottom was good. But the sides definitely were not. I think the bottom was good because there was no lace to adhere to. Whereas the sides, it has to adhere past the lace onto the vellum. I almost want to put a pocket on this side too. Alright, so hold that over there. Oh, scooch. Alright, so we know that our vellum is going to be right here. Let's keep going. Ooh, you want to put a belly band? Let's do a belly band. Okay, so I've got some um, some lace that I can use. 
that I've used throughout because this is all the lace that I have left. And if I use all of it on this journal, I will be okay with that because that's the only, that's all I have left. So what I was thinking is like that. And maybe add something in the middle. What do you think? I like that. Okay. So probably should put the lace down, let it dry a little bit, and then I didn't think about the lace when I was sewing these together otherwise I would have just sewn the lace onto the belly band itself. Alright, come out. Come out, book. My book's not wide or long enough. And this is just a bag that I keep in my glue book. And when it gets all icky and nucky and whatnot, I will throw it out and get another one. But so far, it's pretty good. Okay. All right. Now let's trim that up. Hold that. Hold that. Come here, book. You go back over there. You are upside down. I like that. What are they doing? We have a step stool and I can hear it being messed with in the kitchen. But then again, they're both the girls are still shorter than me. Uh, Porter's not though. He is only just barely taller than me. sure that it doesn't stick to your page. Put that there while it dries. And let's see. Let's put that back. Although we could put one on this side too. You want to do I think we should. Yeah, because there's no pocket or anything on this side. Actually, works out fairly well. All right, so we need another bag. Ow. My back just popped. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. That is a really bad glare. Uh, here. Okay, 
Uh, the other belly bands that we have are these two. I think this one might be too wide for the lace. It is. And this one also might be too wide for this particular lace. It is. So let me grab a wider lace. Oh, I'm thinking, what do I have over here? Uh, this one might work. This one's pretty wide. really pretty. And that one will work for both of them actually. Yes. Okay. So let's hold that. Let's put our top back on this glue. Don't need that right this second. Move this out the way. Grab the book. And the fabric book. This is just another one of my laces that I have yet to inventory. <laughs> but that's okay, because that means I can play with it. Because the laces that are inventoried, if I want to mess with those, basically I have to go into my listing, alter the quantity so I can use it. and. Some of them I can buy more of, and some of them I cannot. Because uh, some of them are like, I find them on, you know, um, vintage, uh, vintage shops or um, flea markets or um, estate sales and such like that, or eBay even. But um, some of them you can get uh, or I can get from one of my vendors uh, and he's got amazing shipping it normally only takes like four days to get here I don't know where he's at I think he's like in California I think which is kind of crazy because normally on the other side of the country it takes a while to get here but not so much all right oh that is so pretty Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this other one so it has time to dry. We don't know where we're putting it yet. Honestly, I don't remember where I got this one from. Um, I think this was one of the, um, not estate sales. I haven't been to estate sales in a minute, but um, I have been to the vintage shop that's down the road. Oh my gosh, I did not tell you guys what my husband got me for my birthday. You will not believe it. He got me a typewriter from 1950. I was like, are you kidding me? He's like, it probably doesn't work. I was like, I don't care. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's like, it's sitting on my end table in my living room right now. Like, it's just, it's so pretty. Um, he got some oil to oil the keys so you can punch the keys now. But we have to find um, ribbon. And I don't know if we're going to be able to find ribbon for a typewriter that old. I mean, I know they make modern typewriters with like 
I don't even know if they use ribbon or not, <laughs> but I don't know if it would fit or if it would work with the, the older vintage typewriter. Well, I guess I can say it's vintage, huh? Because here it is, 2020. That was some 80 years ago, man. 70, I forgot how to count, don't mind me. But still, whew. And people say the 50s isn't vintage. You cray. Yeah, I'll cray. I think the 60s, 70s, I technically, I'm pretty sure the 80s are considered vintage because uh, it's like more than 30 years ago or 40 years ago or something like that, which is really depressing because I was born in the 80s, but I don't know. I don't think the 80s is vintage. I think it depends on what you're talking about, honestly. Okay, what were we going to, we were going to use this one, I think, on this page. All right, why is this here? Oh, because it's glare. Okay. It's glary. Oh, yes, I like that. Okay. Perfect. And then we can figure out where we're going to put this other one. So we'll have a total of three belly bands. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually pulling down while pushing up. Um, and what that does is it gives it, um, it takes out some of the slack uh, that's in the band. Because I imagine whatever people put in the belly bands, they would like them to stay put. So that's why I do that. And then can take this guy, put him right there, and that guy like that. Come here, book. Okay. Okay. So there's one of the belly bands. Oops. There's one of the belly bands, sorry. And then there's the other one. Okay, so, you know, I reinforced the crack on these, the, the, the fold, but I didn't here, and I think here is way more important. So let me do that real quick while I'm thinking about it. And we can even use the bigger lace too. Get off my finger. Alright, stay. I don't know how wide this lace is, I'm guessing. It dries clear. I mean, you can see on this side, it dries clear. Oh, I didn't make it wide enough anyway. That's all right. Okay. Go all the way down. All right, this one's going to have to set all by itself, too, because I can't put the pages on top of that. 
that will not work because that's not how we're going to adhere the, book, the pages together. We're not gluing them together. Although, that is an option, just not with this particular journal. I've made plenty of books where you glue the pages together. And I heard all of the, what? <laughs> all the people in the background saying, what? That's not possible. Oh, my dears, anything is possible. Anything, I tell you. All right, let's see. What's the time? Oh, look at that. 40 minutes. Oh, we did so good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here because I really have to have this dry before I can really do anything else to it. So this is going to sit like this and like this. But we're going to let this dry and then we will come back and do some more. So thank you guys so much for joining me again on another wonderful day of crafting. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.